Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're trying to install any app on your iPhone device and you are having this type of problem, this app cannot be installed because its integrity could not be verified. So in this video, I'll show you how you can verify app integrity on your iPhone or iPad device and how you can install this app on your iPhone or iPad device without any problem. So now let's get started. First of all, here you'll have to close this tab. So after that, first of all, here you will need to open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. So here I'm going to open setting. You will have to open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. So after that here, you need to scroll down then tap on general. So after that here, you'll have to scroll down then tap on general, then tap on soft update. And first of all, here you will need to make sure that you're using an update version of iOS. If you are not using an updated version of iOS, then here you will need to update your iPhone device to the latest version iOS 18. So after that here you will have to go back, then here you will have to again open setting, then again tap on general. Then here you will need to tap on about, then here you will see this type of interface. Here you will have to scroll down, then tap on here certificate trust settings, here tap on this and here you will have to develop the trust on your iPhone or iPad device. Then after go back again and here you will have to again open setting. So again scroll down then here you will have to make sure that you are using strong internet connection. If you are using Wi-Fi then here you will have disconnect with Wi-Fi and reconnect it again. And if you are using mobile phone data then here you will have to turn off your data and turn it on again. Then after that again open setting then scroll down here. You will have to scroll down then tap on apps. Then again here scroll down here. Then here you will have to search for Safari. So here is Safari you will need to tap on this. Then here you will have to scroll it down and here you will have to tab on advanced then here you will have to tab on website data and from here then from here you will have to scroll down and here you will have to remove all website data from here then tab on remove though then after go back again and here you will have to search for clear history and website data tap on this then here you will need to select all history then tap on clear history so after that here you will have to go back and again install app and check that the problem fixed or not so if you're having still this problem then here you'll have to open safari browser and in search bar you'll have to search for the apple system status that it's working properly if here is any problem then here you'll have to wait for a few minutes and again try again later and check that the problem fixed or not so if you're having still this problem then again open setting then scroll down and tap on general then scroll it down all the way then here tap on transfer or reset iphone then tap on reset then tap on reset network settings after that enter your iphone passcode then go back again and here you'll have to again open setting then tap on general then here you'll have to scroll down and here you'll have need to tap on vpn and device management and here you'll have to connect with any vpn then after that try to, then after that try to install that app in your iphone device and check that the problem fixed or not so if you're having still this problem then here you'll have to again close this tab then here you need to force restore iphone device by tapping on the volume up button then volume down then press the power button until apple logo appears then after i go back again and here you'll have to make sure that your iphone date and time is correct and the set automatically is turned on from here then after that after all these settings hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to install that app in your iphone or ipad device so that's it from this video thanks for watching this video